Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. With regard to the disciplinary action against suspended CFO Lerata Madio and suspended Tembisa Hospital CEO Dr. Ashley Matunzi, will the MEC please indicate the following? One, what progress has been made in the disciplinary action against them? Two, what have they been charged with? Three, what accounts for any delays in this regard? Four, why have criminal charges not been laid against them? And five, what action is being taken to conclude these disciplinary cases as soon as possible? Thank you. Honourable MC, <coughs> disciplinary hearing will be held in August. They have confirmed that, 2023. The second question, the CEO of Tembisa is charged with the authorization of purchase orders request of all identified fraudulent transactions from the allegations um, that happened in that hospital. While at this stage no specific charge from the finding of, for the CFO, she has, however, factored prominently in the allegations because she was part of the, she was doing the approvals on those on some of those transactions that happened, and it is the and, and as the department we feel strongly that she has a case to answer. The third one, the investigation, is the matter that is conducted through Troika arrangement. The SIU is involved, Office of the Premier, and the Department of Health. So it's the three that are responsible for that. And we have an OMOU that was entered into between the SIU, the Office of the Premier, and the Department, which, um, which now, they are the, in fact, everything is in place. There are no delays, because hence they are going to be charged in August. And then the fourth question, at the moment, the SIU has recommended that the matter be referred to the NPA, for only the service providers who have false information. Any criminal referral will be informed by established criminal trans transgressions by the two officials. The last one is the hearing is indicated, as I've indicated from the first question, that the August will be the date for this. Thank you. Any supplementary questions or a short remark? Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. So we're only getting round to a disciplinary hearing in August this year. I mean, meanwhile, we can't get a permanent CFO because the present one is, act, is suspended. We can't get a permanent CEO at Tabisa Hospital because the CEO is suspended. Uh, you know, there really is a problem with disciplinary hearings. Uh, um, it's actually of, of great concern that there's been this delay, and obviously we, we need to have criminal charges uh, laid against them, but um, you know, disciplinary action never seems to be speedy in this department.